Good morning, bring a trailer, John Seibel, Seibel's Auto Warehouse. We're going to do a drive video on my 76 Cadillac Seville. One of Cadillac's best cars that were never really well known. Good power. Really nice car. Just installed four new tires on this car. Put new injectors in it. We put a new fuel pump in it. This car was in long tire storage. Uh, prior to me buying it about a year and a half ago and uh, it had sat in a heated collection uh, since about 2000 a uh, local guy was up to the, our way that owns a junkyard in about a 50 car collection decided he was going to liquidate some of his cars and we ended up buying eight of them and uh I kind of kept this car to the side because I'm really partial to these cars. And the condition on this car was just extremely well. And I mean, uh, the paint was nice, the body was nice, um, the bumper fillers were cracking, which is typical on this generation Cadillac or GM vehicle. up out of the mountain here at 60 mile an hour um, no shimmies no shakes no you know issues hands off the wheel straight just a very nice car uh, nice thing it's got the original Cadillac keys they're still with it power antenna works Just notice while we're driving, I don't see the cl the clock is not moving, so I, I would say that the clock's not working. Beautiful car, though. Get it on the interstate here. One thing I always loved about the Caddies was the fender indicators, turn signals, high beams, headlights. I always thought that was a really cool item. As we're driving here today, we got 14,013 original miles. Um, we have an actual mile title branded on the title actual miles. And I believe this car is branded antique also on the Pennsylvania title. on the interstate here. Great runner. I mean, 7580, hands off. Drive it with one finger. Steering wheel is beautiful in this car. The woodwork's still nice. Horn blows good. Interior quality on this car is something else too. I mean, the condition of the seats, headliner, all the trim, everything on this car is just, everything about this car, you realize that, you know, it's a real 14,000 mile car, no questions asked. Drivability, um, you know, I've taken this car to, I can't even tell you how many shows locally around us here. And, it always catches a crowd because they're just, you know, there's not many of these left and there's definitely none that really of this caliber. Um, turn around here. Dead start. up 
75, 80 mile an hour with uh, absolutely no issues whatsoever. Rear defroster, power antenna. Just a uh, great, great car. Beautiful day here in western Pennsylvania. We finally are getting a little leniency on the weather from the weather gods. Which, uh, summertime. Love it. If you're looking to add a late 70s Seville to a personal Cadillac collection, or you know, you're looking for something. For it's fun to drive on the weekends that uh, you're probably not going to run into another one of. Uh, this is this is definitely the car that uh, you'd want to be, you know, cruising around. And it's a car you can throw the family and the kids in, go to a show. You can set aside, uh, you know, any of your Cadillacs that you have in a collection and be proud to have it there. videos are always a little awkward you know never know what to say what to do but uh, you know it's not like you're in the car or feeling the car and touching the car but uh, you know we try to do our best that we can to bring you to the car blowing nice and cool you know some of these older cars you can turn them on you know you get belt squeals maybe a little compressor uh, lockage uh, not with this car I mean like I said I and in the listing there on bring a trailer you can see the bill and the receipt uh, we just spent about $2,600 on it uh, not including the tires that we put uh, that we sprung extra for because I really like that inch and a half white wall that uh, is on these cars. Um, we did not go with a standard size. Great highway car. Great driver. The old saying, I know a lot of people say it, they don't build them like this anymore in the right. I mean, there's not a car around that uh, can really compare to a nice mid 70s late 70s Cadillac Wow really nice square body Amazing what you really see when you start looking around in your areas. Stuff that you never thought, uh, you know, was even around or that you would ever even see. We did sport the Led Zeppelin 1975 shirt today to go with the 76 Seville video. Pull back in here to the dealership. Put 
back and tucked away. Right back in the rear showroom here at the store. If you're ever in the Freeport area, please come by. We've got three showrooms that uh, we try to keep stocked with new variety all the time. We're big Cadillac Lincoln guys. Love boats. Kind of like, uh, you know, competition cars down there in Myrtle Beach. Me and him, I can tell, like the same kind of stuff. Our good friend Anthony Gazzo. Up there at Specialty Motor Cars. Well, there you have it folks I hope you enjoyed the test drive on my 1976 Cadillac Seville um, miles are like between 14,018 and 19 right now after the test drive um, we're looking forward to a great auction it's gonna be really hard to let this car go because I don't think I'll ever find another one that's quite like this but um, you know, we're in the business to eventually sell them all. I can't keep them all, uh, although I would really love to. But uh, we look forward to it. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to call us at 724-540-5356. And uh, good luck. God bless. America first. Thank you.